Uh, being involved in a, in a medical error for any clinician is one of the most devastating moments in our in our careers, for sure. And there's certainly a range of emotions that that people experience. I think one is sadness that someone's suffering, um, and I think a lot of us feel shame after that. Um, shame is where you go from feeling bad about something to adding on it happened because I'm not good enough. I'm not a good enough physician, a nurse, a pharmacist. And it can really trigger self-doubt. Uh, should I continue doing this? Uh, you know, really, am I worthy, essentially? Um, and it also can trigger a, imposter syndrome. I think fear also is present. There's There are some realistic fears that we have. One is, uh, you know, what's gonna happen ultimately to the patient? Will they recover? Another fear is job consequence. Um, we have had a long, long history of punishing people involved in errors, it, which is incredibly counterproductive to patient safety, but it's a, a, a legacy of, of that shame and blame culture. And part of the uh, uh, shaming and blaming comes with can come with job consequences. And then finally, I think um, pretty much everybody's afraid uh, of, of being uh, named in a, in a claim and a lawsuit. Also, I think there's some anger. And I think the anger comes from the fact that we have said we're moving on to a safety culture, which is where after harm events, we actually, our obligation is to learn from what happened to prevent it from happening in the future. And that involves both personal accountability, what could I have done different, what should I have done different, and also systems accountability. In what way did the system maybe set me or my colleagues up to make this error more likely to happen? And then we need to fix the both. Um, I think the problem is that we have in medicine, we've used shame and blame forever. And shame and blame is very destructive to patient safety, but I don't think we've internalized that concept that we need to shift to a safety culture. Many processes that we have in place, though could be done with a just culture framework, are actually still done with a shame and blame framework, including sometimes m and or root cause analysis, investigation by the Department of Public Health, all sorts of potential internal and external processes. Again, we have the potential to make them uh, uh, done in a safety culture frame, but often still in the, in the shame and blame mode. And then finally, I think most clinicians feel very isolated after errors. Um, there's a culture of silence, we're told not to talk to anybody, and people don't tend to talk about their errors. And, and because we're, we're social animals, we end up receiving or experiencing a lot of acute and chronic stress from isolation and from these other emotions that I mentioned.